Hey folks, hope everyone's having a great Friday. Uh, just coming to you with a BGS submission preview where I grade myself on the subgrades to see how I compare it to a BGS grader. Uh, I've got a little stack that I'm going to send off here of five cards. I've gone over them. Let me choose the one I'm going to start with here. Okay, I'm going to start off with this one. I haven't put this one in the, the card saver yet, but I'm going to. You saw this recently in a pickup video, got it from my LCS. It is a 2018-19 Luka Doncic um, Prism Red, White, and Blue. It's a very nice card. What I think this will get is overall a 9.5. I think it'll get a true 9.5 or a true gem mint with 9.5 on centering edges and surface and 10 on the corners. That's, that's lofty, but I think those are some really nice corners. Um, it's just a really nice card. So I'm gonna hold on to these little flashcards and when the order comes back probably in a month or so I will uh, pull these out and we'll see how I did how I compare it to the actual grades but 9.5 for that next up is a you saw this again recently 2017 heritage real one auto red ink Yohan Mankata a beautiful looking card I think for this one, it's also going to get a 9510. You'll see a theme here. Overall, the grades are, are gem mint. I tried to weed out any cards that I didn't think would get an overall 95. But centering, I put a 10 on the centering, a 95 on the edges, 9 on the corners, and 95 on the surface. So it's very nicely centered. Edges are very clean. Corners, corners show a little bit of white on the back. Beckett seems to be a little more lenient, so maybe push that to a 9.5, but I think more likely a 9 on the corners for an overall 9.5.10. All right, next up here, we've got a Corbin Carroll 2019 Bowman Sapphire, Bowman Draft Sapphire. Uh, what is it? That's not purple. What's it called? Oh, it's Sapphire. Sapphire is the parallel. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Sapphire is the the uh, the set. What is the parallel of this called? The purple, whatever. I thought it was called after, it was named after some stone. Amethyst, not amethyst. Don't know. Anyways, it's a purple, numbered out of 10. Corbin Carroll. So for this one, I give it, again, an overall 9.5 with 9.5 on centering, 10 on edges, 9 on corners, and 9.5 on surface. The surface looked really clean. I was tempted to put a 10 on the surface and the edges, the gloss extended all the way to the edges on the back from what I could tell. Uh, the corner was, there were a couple of just the faintest amount of white. Again, it's Beckett. That could be higher than a nine on the corners, but I gave it a nine. Um, overall nine five, it's a good looking card. Next is going to be a 2019 update Luis Arias vintage stock. For this one, I gave it again an overall 9.5 with, I think the same subgrades, yeah, the same subgrades as Corbin Carroll. Centering is a 10, edges is a 9.5, corners a 9, surface a 9.5 for an overall 9.5. I do have a second one of these, but I felt like the corners might get an 8.5. So I kind of want to see how Beckett grades this before I send it off. And then I've got this, finally, this Alex Bregman chrome variation. I don't think it, it's a refractor. I don't know if it comes out of the complete set. It's like a variation that you found the, 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 re, the regular top set. Like now they have chrome variations. I don't know if it came out of that or if it's out of, if it's out of regular chrome uh, wax or hobby boxes. But anyways, I gave this one. I'm pushing my luck here probably, but I'm giving it a pristine 10 with 10 on centering even though it's kind of difficult for me to center that without borders. 10 on edges, 10 on corners, and a 9.5 on the surface. Again, a very clean surface, but uh, I imagine there's, given my history with grading surfaces, there's probably something I'm missing. So I'm gonna say 9.5 on surface for an overall pristine 10. Fingers crossed. So those are my five cards I'm sending off. I'm gonna get those out in the mail, actually probably tomorrow because I, have, I haven't filled out the, uh, the form yet to do it. So we'll see what those look like in about a month or so. All right. 
Hope everybody has, hope everybody has a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.